I'm just going to make a quick video this week. It has been freezing in England, pretty much one degree most nights. Um, and I've been okay because I've got like loads of hot water bottles. Although yesterday I was like three isn't enough. And so I got my big giant one out and then suddenly I was way, way, way too hot because I still had the other ones quite hot. So my head, my, my bed was basically just full of hot water bottles. But anyway, um, I, um, I then started watching some good films, which helped turn me up, but I, I came across, I just want to talk about this person that I came across. I was, I was watching some of the Andrew Tate stuff and I, I don't know what's going on with him because um, I was pretty convinced that there was enough evidence to prove that he had been, he had raped a few people um, or, or, you know, past, uh, I don't know, I don't want to talk about it, but um, I, I was pretty convinced that there was enough evidence to, to, to have him charged for something. Um, and so for him to just be let off, I, I don't know what's going on, but I, I kind of feel like maybe it's the videos that I made about him where I was kind of insulting him a lot, but because I'm God and I don't actually pick up on that many people and he is someone that I have picked up on as like a good example of a really bad person, you know, I find that people are drawn to people who are similar to them. So if you, you know, I, I think Trump kind of represents, he's he's got a big community of the Republican Party and these are strong Christians who who can't see faults with the Bible and um, and don't believe in reincarnation and, and stuff like this. And I, and I just felt like a huge amount of his supporters are people who um, are, are, are people who are kind of young in age and haven't been reincarnated that many times you know I'm not I'm not saying that this is a bad thing not everyone who's living their first life is a bad person you know there's a difference between someone who's living in their first life as a human um, and is a good person versus someone who's a bad person and stupid and, and just not capable of being a human um, you know I just I, I just there, there's it, sh it shouldn't be about the that, that how old you are or you know there's, there's a lot of animals that get abused and I feel like a lot of uh, these animals who get severely abused um, go on to become a human, but they go on to become a fairly nice human because of um, because of the abuse that the abuse that they face. It's what made them wake up um, and realize that this is not right to do to others. It, it, so it depends. Some animals though can get abused and then become a human and just feel angry and want to abuse others. So there, there's the two the two types of people, one that face abuse and don't want it to happen to others, or ones that face abuse and just want this to happen to others, um, because they feel it's unfair that it happened to them, even though they subconsciously subconscious, don't actually remember what it is that happened to them. So, you know, I, I don't want to say that all younger souls are bad, because that's definitely not the case. And and likewise, I, I was talking about communist, and I think communism is, is a sign that you haven't had that many lives, because it's all about equality and seeing everyone equal and the same. But then again, if you're being brainwashed into believing something, you're more likely to believe it. Um, and if you've got parents you like or family you like and they believe it, you know, you might believe things that are not true out of respect for them. So, um, you know, I know there are a lot of incredibly intelligent people in China because they've got so much technology there. So they've obviously got a good crowd of of um, of people who can um, who can you know figure things out and, and do things. So it's I, I can't it's it's really hard to judge someone by what they look like. It's impossible to judge someone like how many, how old, how many lives they've had or whatever by what they look like. I think you can do it by character. The ones that have had the, the, the longer characters, the ones that stand out as being most characteristic or full of personality, you know, these are most likely the older souls. Are they good souls though? No or not? No. But um, I feel like Trump has a, has a, a market. He's very good at blending in with his people and it's a type of person that I really don't like. So him, showing the cabinet of all the people that he's selected to run America. Um, I'm looking at this, I'm just thinking, I really hope they're not actually running the place. I mean, I know having people at the top is different to actually making decisions. You know, if, if you have made rules where you can't just fire people, um, then, well, that could work for a good thing or a bad thing. You know, if you've got stupid people in there and you want to fire them, but you've got some sort of clause on their contract saying that you can't fire them because they've been working for so long at, it, at this place, you know, it's it's different. I mean, if there is a, an efficiency program and the point is to expose me as being Christ and then see how many people in the government believe this or how many people just think that I'm just a delusional blonde woman or whatever um you know i mean and fire the people that have less connection to me i mean that that would probably that might be a, a good way of 
detecting who can tell truth from from lies you know i think in the past there might have been loads of singers who believed lies or, or people who represented different things believing lies because they were trying to build up trust within their own market you know i feel like that's kind of what trump has done he seems very good at blending in with his crowd even though i don't like the majority of his crowd but just because i don't like them that doesn't mean that they deserve to die i i just think um it's there's a lot of people in the world and I don't like anyone. If, if everyone died who I didn't like, I don't think there'd be that many people left. Um, so I, I can't judge people by whether or not I like them or not. It should be about um, what their intentions are, what their motivations are, what their goals are. Um, and I think Elon too has a, has a, has a big market of, of people I think his, his market is definitely more intelligent, like they're more capable of, of making videos and there's a lot of promotion on him. So I think his market is, is definitely more intelligent. Um, there might be some uh, ones that go in the wrong direction. There might be ones that, that are just out after thrill or excitement, which again isn't really a bad thing. Um, there might be some that generally want to go to Mars and so like him because of this ambitious goal to get to Mars even though there's nothing up there so it's a little bit stupid to try and get there but um and i still don't i don't think we've been to the moon like i, I all the clips on the moon the video that was done 50 years ago i don't think they're real i think they're fake and and i think we have been to the moon eg we've sent robots there to do sa sample analyzing uh, sample stuff but I, I don't i'm not convinced that a person has actually walked on the moon i'm i'm i don't know if that's the truth or not I just I, I know I haven't seen any evidence of it and I think the one that was done 50 years ago was fake so um, and because I've seen nothing new in in recent times I, I just I don't know what's going on um, maybe you found evidence that we're living in a matrix and, and have decided not to land on the moon for some for some reasons like that or you're not sure how to it could actually be that you're not sure how to take off once you've got on the moon how are you supposed to take off again um, if part of the rocket that helps you take off actually just kind of crumbles to pieces or falls apart after after the launch um you know you need it you need to have the oil you need to get all the oil on there to launch off so maybe that you're having you're, you're thinking you might be able to land on the moon but not be able to leave that's i don't know what you're thinking there but um i'm not convinced that humans have walked on the moon um and and i and and then I'm I'm I just I found a video yesterday where someone was a Tate fan, and and was was going at like how obvious it was that Tate was you know wasn't it was just a setup and all this was lies and stuff like this and I, I don't believe it but I I want to I was interested to see what other things he believed you know I didn't believe I don't I don't think Tate is innocent I don't think he's been let off um, I'm wondering though if you want to use him. Um, because if you want to work out who bad people are, what you do is you have someone like Tate and, and you get them to think that they're winning, think that they're promoting whatever they're promoting, whatever they want to promote. Um, but if they're promoting terrible things and, and, you know, a masculine sense of this is how to solve things, you need to bring masculinity back and then the world will be much wealthier because we all know women can't work. So, so therefore, you know, if someone has all these horrible ideologies, all the people that support them are going to also have horrible ideologies and, and believe in this stuff. And although I hate Tate, um, he, he is a good way of working out what people want to believe. You know, if you if you like t t um, Trump because you generally believe that he is a good uh, way, a, a good person or how to be and stuff like this, then I, I think you are, you're kind of deceived. And, and I think you're not seeing what's the, what's there. I think you're just, you're, you're, falling for lies and stuff and i think if you're type that follow elon well i i guess elon's more um there's there's more good and bad in in him i'm a little bit confused sometimes but then other times i i, I feel like he's quite quite smart so i'm just like I, i'm i'm too unsure but yeah with with tate with andrew tate i really really hate him i just get horrible vibes and everything and and i feel almost like i can't fight those people but i i do feel like i get a sense of this this horrible viking that just goes around pillaging raping whatever he wants to do and thinking that this is the way to make money because this is how you steal things you make money by stealing things off others um, if other people have things you want you go kill them and then you take it off them and this is how you get wealth and i feel like he's he when he was a viking had this very strong materialistic view on life and and i think the real world is that 
I, you know, I'm, I'm singing, I'm talking about the singers and, and the past lives they've gone, they, they've had, but I feel like, okay, they were bad in the past, but they are, they have grown and changed to be quite decent people now. Um, but I feel like Andrew Tate hasn't, and, and therefore looking at his past and what I think he was, you know, I, I definitely think he was a male that went around raping people and then he had a life as a woman who, who probably got r-worded by lots of people and and then when he got back to being a man he kind of took the anger and rage that he had from that life and, and started just becoming a bigger monster than he was even before and, and i just felt like some people go in that direction and then i think when when society changed and they started bringing in laws and and you know um I think that's maybe when he started going down. I think he was actually born into a circus family and, and therefore he wanted to adopt the... Um, I'm trying to think of his past lives and I think he's he was born into a circus and, and he was trying to adopt the sort of characteristics of his parents because part of wrong ideologies come from you believing that you need to be like your parents so if you are uh, a horrible viking that is born by horrible viking parents you feel like you need to be like that and if you're born into a circus you'll just kind of think that this is where i'm meant to be i'm meant to be in the circus range um and and you know there's a, a lot of people idolize their parents and even though where you go in your next life is it's you know might be completely random like you might have similarities to that person who works in the circus but that doesn't mean just because you your parents were born in, in working in the circus and you were born to the parents that doesn't mean that you need to work into you don't need to be like that but at the same time i feel like some people don't believe that you know they're very materialistic people only think about the material life and you know their parents and, and idolizing their parents and respecting their parents and if their parents are burnt born into this uh, work in the circus it's, it's a sign that they need to work into the, in the circus when really that's just not the truth the parents just had similarities with him that's all it was um but yeah um and then I, I think though he took the cruelness that he still had from when he was a viking and then turned it into animal abuse um and then i think he got punished by being an animal and having everything taken away and i felt like when he was human again he was a fairly decent person until um until everything got taken away and um i don't know when this was but when some i don't know something in him changed and he started bringing out this evil anger in him as, as his current life has has passed and he's an interesting one to to think about um but yeah i, I feel like there are a lot of evolved souls that have had many lives but still have the same ideologies that he has which is that if you want something you need to go and get it even by force you know in in the caveman time it would have just been murder and steal murder steal murder steal that would have been because that, that's how animals lived if, if you want eggs and there's a bird looking after them or made them and then trying to hatch them you know you kill the bird and then you can eat the eggs um and if you're not strong enough to kill the bird well you just wait till the bird leaves and then you steal the eggs so it's it's this ideology of i get what i want through brute force and this is kind of what the animals had and there's a lot of humans when they first became human they had this ideology and they should have sort of learned from horrible if if you have a life of suffering you need to learn from the suffering and change and grow and become a different person and and that's what will save you because you're you'll no longer have the sick beliefs that you used to have um but some people just want to keep going back into the sick beliefs because it's easier and and i feel like anyone that supports andrew tate probably has a similar path to how he had what to what he had um and and i found this other guy who was a tate supporter and was just like yeah we knew it was all a scam yeah really and then i looked on his other videos and he's it's got a whole video it's about an hour and a half long skimming it and it was literally just picking up on anyone that supports the democratic party and was just saying just picking up on anything he can um to to insult these people and okay i think biden is not a very good representative right now because he is she's showing signs of dementia and um and it's uh, it's you know it's it's not a good representative of um the democratic party i think the democratic party are better than the republican party because they have um less they don't they don't want to stick to the past they want to change and, and be more futuristic and work with the now and and they're a bit more um caring towards other people's views and perspectives whereas i think donald trump is just trying to please his audience please his people but 
people who haven't had that many lives do just look for a leader that wants to please them you know um and that's that's kind of what they want but yeah i um i think it's sometimes it's not just about pleasing you it's about doing what's best for the, the the whole the whole community and i feel like the democrats understand that better it's not just about it's not just about america it's it's about the whole world because technically souls can be reincarnated anywhere and if if there's lots of shit going on around the world when they die these people might end up coming to america um if you know if, if you've spent your whole life being a um an islamic person in a horrible country you know you you going to america might be the dream and maybe you do live a, a nice life in the islamic culture and and you get and when you die you the wish is granted they said great you you can become you know you can be born into america but um will they also want to adopt some of the the bad traditions that they had in the past maybe you know um there are a lot of there are similarities between the islamic and christian belief uh, and there are many um islamic people who become christian in the islamic world and i think if you do that that is definitely a sign that you're going to be born elsewhere um you know it, people who who die being islamic need to be reincarnated in islamic countries and people who die being christian need to be reborn in, in christian countries um and so if you convert i feel like this is a sign that you're going to be born into a different country in your next life so it's it's it is the world needs to work together as a whole world and not just as separate as separate countries um how a person thinks believes you know their opinions this is very very important and if you hate the islamic worlds well there's tons of christians that get converted in these worlds and these these people are probably going to immigrate to different countries if they're getting persecuted in their original town you know the matrix isn't going to set isn't if if there's someone's being persecuted in their own country the matrix isn't going to want to send that soul back to the same country just to be in the same you know it's like my me and my the fish in my fish tank if if i can see a fish is being bullied by the rest of the fish tank i'm going to move it to, to the other fish tank um i'm not going to put it back or maybe i'll wait a time i might wait a time and see if it's if it changes if certain if, if the attitudes change but if i can see if if one gets murdered in in one fish tank um and because of it's a certain color or something if i do get a fish that's that similar color i might be tempted to not put them in the same fish tank basically or um it, 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 you know i'd learned from the, i'd learned from things that happen and and yeah then because of this problems in the middle east are a world problem and not just a middle eastern problem um and and the world needs to recognize that and i think the democrats is more open to doing what's best for the world whereas the americans are just like we don't we care about america i mean the republicans are, are like that we only care about it we only care about america which isn't isn't the bigger picture and i don't think republicans see that so because of that i'm more on the democrat side but this guy was just insulting every single thing and okay maybe i agreed with some of the points you know that it, it wasn't completely unintelligent there was some points that i agreed with and there were some points that i really didn't agree with um you know i i'm not a fan of cardi b but to insult her saying that because she picked up a phone and it looked like she was reading something off it to insult her for things like that i just think like that's just such a petty thing to insult people for you know if you were to insult the democrat the, the republicans i'm sure i would find many many more things to say um and 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 yeah when when people just start choosing sides and picking sides it's almost like they just want an argument or just want to fight which is kind of sad because he looked quite he looked quite involved he talked he spoke in quite an educated way he seemed quite convincing but he was an andrew tate fan so i saw that as a as a, a warning and then he started going on about diddy and and you know we all know they're all pedophiles i mean the diddy the diddy tapes the fbi have hundreds of these diddy tapes you know if celebrity a is on tape seven tape 50 and tape 236 or whatever you know he was he was talking like this as if he had the factual evidence and i don't even know if they do have actual tapes i mean maybe they do have sex tapes but i i i don't think there's a difference between sex tapes and rape tapes that they're, they're, they're very different things and okay they might not people might be on on drugs and stuff but if they're the ones that took the drugs and if if the, if the people doing the act were also on drugs then i feel like it's just some sort of swingers party that are all just getting drunk and doing things when they were aware 
I don't know. I don't want to judge because I don't know. I don't want to say they don't exist when really they do exist. And I, and I don't want to say they do exist, but it's all consensual because I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I feel like the whole Diddy stuff is, is fake. And this guy was just saying, trying to, almost trying to turn everything back to they supported Diddy. This, Ellen gave a tweet that supported Diddy in 2016. That put, that moot, that about her being a snuggle, a snuggle buddy, buddy, buddy or something like that. And, and that proves that Ellen was at these parties and Ellen was getting involved in these rape cases. And I don't even think that there was, I think it's all rubbish. And, and people a year ago had no clue if it Diddy was involved in, in anything like this. And therefore to insult people what was 2016 that was a very long time that was almost 10 years like eight years ago to insult someone eight years ago and saying that they they used the word snuggle body hence they they obviously knew about these free costs and knew all, all this just to assume and hate that person because of a tweet they made eight years ago when they themselves had no clue that he was involved in something or perhaps involved in something like this like a year ago i just people are so so blind and so so bad it was really making me feel like how many people are smart in this world how many people are logical how many people um won't just judge people from a comment they made eight years ago even though they even though they themselves were completely unaware of someone's uh, someone's life or habits or things that might have happened i don't believe i think it's all fake but i, I don't know and um and and just it's, it's just such a terrible world it really is and I and I and I I feel like I just don't want to think about it because it's too too much. But I want to believe that there's a group of people. I watched a film. I can't remember what it's called. It was on Netflix. Child ones. I posted about it. But um, they they had like the government being like aliens that were kind of actually they they had stolen their superheroes. But really, the 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 plot was to start steal the superheroes, um, so that their children would want to come and save them. But really, the whole thing was just a test on the children to see how they would work together. And they didn't do a very good job. They were arguing a lot. So because of that, I was actually on the side of the aliens most of the time. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's how it needs to be. I I might put once I worked out what the name is, I might put it in the video comment, but uh, in the description of this video. But. Um, yeah, that is how it should be. Like, um, there should be a group of people that just test the world to see who's who's on the right track, who can tell the difference. Um, and I, I think, I think the Diddy thing is a lie. But to not know that it's a lie, that's that's not, that's not a fault. You know, you're you're seeing what's going on, and, and if you believe it, fine. But if if you believe it and then use this as an excuse to say that all the other people in the Democratic Party are terrible people because of this lie that you have chosen to believe and then you're trying to just constantly attack people base and constantly go back to this lie that isn't true you know oh they knew it this is all what they're like they're all part of this but that's that isn't doesn't exist so why are you trying to attack as many people as possible using this lie and and you yourself are just turning yourself into a fool um and and then and then it starts making you question all the all the other things that they say and stuff and you know you, there's a thing a clip of even Donald Trump supporting saying that Stiddy was a good guy and stuff um, and that they worked together and uh, yeah and e Elon got got Diddy on his help to help buy him he de donated money to help him buy Twitter um, but yeah people that are hateful just want to take sides and just bully or p pick on or insult and, and watching that video made me feel really like I hate this guy <laughs> I really hate this guy even though he seems quite intelligent and he looks like a normal a normal intelligent person he just really really wasn't and it made me feel really depressed and it's, it's really made me wonder how many people are have this deception of, of intelligence this, this deception of I know what I'm talking about, so listen to me because I'm worth listening to. But really, they're just promoting lies. How how many people are like this? I don't know. But I fantasize about being a nice big house. Actually, I have a weird fantasy. So I keep seeing like a really nice living room, very grand, very big, lots of different areas, perhaps a TV, um, and perhaps like 
there, there can be like a speaker that talks to the house and it, it says um, do you want to watch this film or this film or maybe there could be like a sort of Netflix where I can just turn on and watch whatever I wanted to watch um, and and then um, and then throughout the day there's like today is tea time right now it's tea time um, and then you give the, the, the audience if there is someone watching um, and let them decide keep wanting I like the idea of this but I, I don't know how it would work because I don't really trust people but if I should have like bis cheese biscuits or grapes or something like that um, but yeah and then there could be like upstairs a big long hallway of bedrooms that are all different and all designed differently and there could be like a light that has that says which one's open and so I can have a different bedroom each night um, I don't know I think I'm just going crazy maybe but um, and there's a nice garden there must be a big nice garden with a big wall all the way around and then you can um, call it um, a different country so it's not like it's in America you know how in the Vatican they have like they have the the Vatican is different from Italy it's like its own state and its own rules so you can have that kind of setup where you, you have a house but you can lie about its location so you can say that Where's that alien one? You know Roswell or something. You can say that I have a house in Roswell, um, but put lots of trees in the area that it's supposed to be, and and then you can use graphics to make it look like it is actually in Ros Roswell when really the house is somewhere in California or I don't know where it is. Um, I, I I don't know, but um, you can have have it looking like it's maybe in. I don't even know where Roswell is, um, but it's supposed to be like some sort of alien thing there so yeah you can say that that's where I am when really I'm somewhere else but you can call it its own state so it has its own rules and it doesn't have to obey to um, to the rules of of, of America I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if you know America don't want to part Jerusalem I'm wondering if that's in support of of, of the, the Jerusalem code um, and and I, but I, do, I don't know and if I'm in America then it's signed maybe I, do, I don't know I'm just overthinking there I think um, but yeah I, I think I want to show you these as well so it's like a chocolate biscuit and it was only 20p I got two packets of them 20p and it looks like a um, bread 